Today we look at 15 of the craziest facial tattoos. You won't believe the things people put on their faces. Number 15. I wonder if this guy is a chess grandmaster and he uses this to intimidate other players. A lot of people just have a random mix of tattoos, so I'll give this guy props for at least having a consistent theme. This is a man named Matt Gone who started tattooing himself because he had birth defects he wanted to cover up. Taking it to the next level, he actually injected tattoo ink into his eye himself. Number 14. This guy might look like a big old meanie, but he has F-U-N tattooed below his lips, so do not be alarmed. Number 13. Pure sex. If there is any image of raw, unbridled sexuality, I think we found it. Number 12. Ice cream cone on your face. Hmm. Oh, I get it. You're cool as ice, but ice cube and ice tea were already taken. I guess ice cream is the next best ice product. Number 11. This guy has clearly gone to the dark side with a big ass Darth Vader on his face. There is no turning back now. I guess he didn't want to be too intimidating, so he added the roses. I wonder if he has Yoda on the other side. Number 10. Wait, does this guy even have a face tattoo? Look closer. This is like reverse LASIK. Instead of never having to wear glasses again, he'll be wearing glasses forever. Number 9. I'm going to go ahead and state the obvious here. What happens when he moves to the west side of town? He's sort of limiting his geographical options here. Number 8. This one's pretty ingenious. It's got to be great wearing a hat and then just taking it off when you're in line. Especially useful at the DMV. Number 7. God bless your face, sir. This guy is the living embodiment of America. I salute you, sir. Number 6. This is actually a pretty cool pattern. I think it's one of the more artistic patterns we've seen. It sort of looks like Egyptian or like casino carpet. Number 5. Sorry, sir. Despite the suit and tie, something tells me you're not going to get the job. Number 4. This is Rick Janess, aka Zombie Boy, aka Rico the Zombie. This one's cool. At least if you're going to get a face tattoo, I say plan it out. Interestingly, he was diagnosed with a benign brain tumor before he had any tattoos. Although I think this guy can make a great biology teacher, he has been in Lady Gaga music videos, acted as a spokesperson for L'Oreal, and became the face of Jay-Z's rock aware in Europe. Number 3 This is Maria Cristerna, aka Vampire Lady. What's interesting here is that she experienced many years of domestic abuse. Besides working as a video jockey, she now gives talks to women on domestic abuse. You have to wonder if she transformed herself like this as a kind of protection and to make it so no one will want to even be near her. Interestingly, she used to be a lawyer. I say she should have stayed a lawyer. Number 2 This is Dennis Abner, who was known as Catman. He preferred the name Stalking Cat, which was given to him by a Native American medicine man. He had extensive plastic surgery so he could look like a tiger. Some ask why, and others ask why not. Probably he should have stuck with why. Apparently he was of Native American heritage, and his totem was a tiger, so he was transforming himself to look more like a tiger. In a completely unforeseeable turn of events, he died alone in his garage at age 54. Many suspect it was a suicide. And now for the number one craziest face tattoo. For more videos like this, subscribe here. Number one. I'll tell you one thing. This guy has balls on his face. Well, that's a dick on his face. You have to wonder what possesses someone to put a dick on their face. And it looks like his face dick has a Prince Albert piercing. I will give the guy credit for breaking new ground. I don't think I've ever seen this. I wouldn't want to eat a tuna sandwich with this guy. You've got a little spot of mayo on your cheek there. Or if you get into an argument with this guy, dude, I hate to see it, but you're being a total dick. And he's like, I know. <laughs>